reflect on 2013, it was definitely a big year for tech. One of the big surprises, of course, came from Amazon when CEO Jeff Bezos announced the company is actively testing delivery drones. While some see it as a, a delivery method of the future, others, and indeed some lawmakers, are expressing privacy concerns. Joining us now is Representative Adam Schiff, a Democratic congressman from California uh, who's sounding the alarm on drones. Welcome to the program, Congressman. What in particular worries you, you here? Well, you know, first of all, I wouldn't rule out the use of drones uh, as one of the technologies in the future. It has a lot of potential. But people, I think, are very concerned, and rightly so, that uh, drones delivering packages or drones, for example, that might be doing residential security uh, may be armed with video cameras. In the case of uh, Amazon, I don't know exactly what their technology will hold, but you could imagine cameras as a collision avoidance system uh, or in the event that a drone causes a car accident or some other injury, uh, Amazon might very well want a video uh, recording of what took place. Uh, and that's going to raise all kinds of privacy concerns for people whose houses and yards uh, and personal space is going to be invaded by these drones delivering packages to their neighbors. Um, one particular other concern uh, very quickly is that uh, we have to look at what's the right agency to set the privacy rules for these drones. Right now the FAA is looking into it, but I've worked a lot with the FAA, and this is really not part of their culture. Uh, they're very much about controlling airspace, not so much about looking at the privacy interests of those on the ground. Congressman, uh, it's uh, safe to say there's going to be a great deal of debate about privacy overall in this country in coming years, although I'm not sure it's going to be focused on drones. And it's far from clear, by the way, that Amazon is really going to roll out the use of these drones. It will see it may have been more, nothing more than a publicity stunt in many ways. What about the here and now? What about Google knowing everything I'm looking at or searching for? Apple knowing if I have an iPhone, where I am, what I'm doing? Amazon knowing if I'm reading a Kindle, where I stop reading books or start or how much I do. Uh, you know, there is privacy here and now that you could argue is already very intrusive uh, and the beginning of a surveillance society. Uh, no, you're absolutely right. And, and these companies that you mentioned are in a very difficult position because on the one hand, when it comes to government surveillance uh, and all the issues involving the NSA, uh, they need to protect their international business model and their potential customers. So that's a great problem for them. At the same time, uh, when they raise the alarms about what the government is doing, uh, it's hard for them to avoid the finger being pointed at them uh, because they use so much of their users' information for marketing purposes. Uh, so, you know, they're walking a pretty fine line. Uh, but uh, even beyond that, for example, there are cameras set up by many uh, municipalities that want to give you a, a speeding ticket. Well, those cameras measure every time a certain license plate goes by a certain intersection. So there is a database that knows where you've been in your car, whether you've been speeding or not. Uh, and that's of concern to a lot of people. So you're absolutely right. The, the technologies as they progress are just multiplying exponentially the privacy interests implicated. Well, I wonder, Congressman, you know, we're talking about Amazon drones and we're looking at pictures of them, but you can go out and buy a recreational drone today. You can attach a GoPro to it. You can take pictures of your neighbor's house. I could do it as soon as I was done with this show. Are, are these laws going to be proactive or retroactive? Well, they, you know, we're going to have to be proactive about it, but in a lot of areas, uh, you know, for example, the paparazzi, it's not too hard to imagine their use of drones to invade people's privacy. Uh, uh, that will go far beyond using a telephoto lens from a couple blocks away. Um, so we're going to try to be proactive, but in many respects, uh, as the government operates very slowly, it's going to be reactive in nature. We're trying to get ahead of the commercialization of drones and think about some privacy rules. So one of my colleagues, Ed Markey, in the Senate has already introduced legislation requiring the development of privacy regulations. So we're trying to be proactive, but it's going to be tough because the technology moves faster than we do. Congressman, don't you sit on the House Permanent Select Committee on Intelligence? Yes, I sure do. So, whilst you've just given us a lecture about privacy for the, the general economy, presumably you have signed off on, behind closed doors, the work of the NRA, which was... NSA. Uh, NSA, forgive me, which was, which was so yes, clearly... I, became I haven't evident. signed off on the NRA. <laughs> <laughs> Well, with the NSA, but I mean, that, yes. that, it's an important point because Snowden this year has clearly demonstrated that the government is uh, acutely watching many of the things that they do and recording their phone records. Do you not see an asymmetry with all the things that you said in the bulk of this interview with the fact that you sit on that committee and that is the situation? 
Oh, absolutely. I mean, we've got uh, our work to do, and many of us have been proposing a, a vast array of reform measures. Uh, I've been uh, proposing for the restructuring of the metadata program uh, that collects so the vast millions of uh, domestic calling records uh, so that the government doesn't uh, gain possession of those records. I've also advocated uh, FISA court reforms, but uh, the, you know, there are a lot of intersecting challenges as well. And I mentioned the challenges facing the Googles, the Yahoos, etc. of the world, because there's an overlap there between the challenges uh, in the NSA world, uh, where their uh, business model overseas is implicated, but their own business models here at home that rely on the marketing of this personal data. Uh, it's not an effort to lecture the private sector, but they're going to have responsibilities just as we in the public sector have responsibility to protect privacy even as we protect the national security and even as they advance their uh, business interests. Congressman, thank you for sparing the time to join us. Have a, have a peaceful New Year, sir. Thank um, you, too. Representative Adam Schiff there, Democrat from California. Thank you.